I'm gonna talk, okay. So don't, so don't forget, oh my god. <laughs> hey guys, it's Celeste, and yes, I'm back. It's been over two months since I've last uploaded a video, and I'm very sorry about that, but I do not want to go into a long, lengthy explanation because I don't think you guys really want to hear that. I've been really busy with school and with a whole bunch of other stuff, and I want to start getting into it now that it's getting closer to summer. I thought, why not do a organizational tips hacks video and like habits to stay organized. You can ask anyone I know that I am like extremely organized. Not like as far as saying I'm OCD, but I like things to be very neat and tidy. So I thought why not make a habits to stay organized video and I'm just going to tell you guys some tips you guys might have already heard of, you might not have. These are things that I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis and that I've been doing for the past couple of years and I've never really been the kind of person to have a really messy room who has to clean their room all the time. I'm not really that kind of person who has stuff all over their floor who their room gets messy. I just like to clean and reorganize stuff every once in a while or every week just because I love organizing so much. So I thought I'd just share some ideas and tips to help you guys get more organized and to stay organized. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video and leave any comments down below, any video suggestions and just any ideas. I would love to talk to you guys in the comments below and let's just get on with the video. So my first tip, you guys have probably heard this before, but once you use something, eat something, when you take something off a hanger, just put it back to where it was before if you used a blanket just whenever you're done using it, you're going to go somewhere, just fold it up and put it back where you got it. If you're trying to look for an outfit in the morning and you don't know what you're going to be wearing, just after you take stuff off the hanger, put it back on the hanger and put it back in your closet. When you come back to your room after school or wherever you were going and you don't have clothes all over your room, you'll thank yourself for taking that five seconds to put that clothing item back on the hanger and back into your closet where it's supposed to go. Also, if you eat something and once you finish it, don't just let it sit in your room to get even more dirty and harden whatever kind of drink or food you're eating. It'll just start to get gross if you just let it sit in your room, then it'll start to make your room smell. So after you're done eating or drinking something, unless it's water or something like that, then just take it back down into your kitchen and just throw it away, put it in the dishwasher, clean it, whatever you have to do. It'll just make it a lot easier on yourself and your mom probably won't get mad at you and tell you to bring all your dishes downstairs that you've been hoarding in your room. Also, whenever you're changing from the clothes that you wore that day and they are now dirty, just put them right into your laundry hamper. Don't just throw them on the ground in your room or don't just throw them on the floor before you get into your shower if that's what you do. Just after you're done using something, just put it back where it's supposed to go. So another tip that I have said in a previous video was to make your bed as soon as you get up. Like every morning I get up, whether it's for school or on the weekend, I get up, I go to the bathroom, then I come back into my room and I just make my bed. <sighs> you can't tell, I have a really bad habit of not breathing when I talk. <laughs> Whenever you make your bed, you just feel so much more clean and put together and just more organized. And I always feel less stressed whenever my bed isn't made because I have like a gajillion pillows on my bed. I have so many pillows. Everyone always says how many I have and I'm like, I know, I love it. If you hardly have any pillows on your bed, it's really not that hard to make it. Putting all the pillows on there does take time, but I still do it because it makes me feel a lot more organized and clean. And another tip is to fold your clothes so you can actually see everything. Because if you fold your stuff in your drawers and you have them stacked up, you kind of have to like look through everything and you kind of forget what you have. The things are on the bottom of the pile. So as you can see here, I fold my shirts and my pajamas and stuff so they're all folding up. And you guys have probably heard of the Kamari method and all that stuff to fold your clothes like this way. Or just to fold them like this in general or your jeans, fold any kind of clothes like this because it makes things a lot easier to find and you can actually see everything and it makes it a lot easier to actually pick out exactly what you're looking for. Also some of these tips you guys may have heard before from other YouTubers and I've heard them too and that's why I am kind of giving them to you guys too also because they really helped me kind of get motivated to reorganize my room even though it's already organized. But if you look up cleaning videos and people cleaning their room, it kind of sounds weird, but if you look up reorganizing the room it'll really make you motivated for whatever logical reason to like get up and clean your own room. If you have those playing while you're actually organizing, it'll really help you just get it done. Another tip is to make or buy little drawer organizers. And as you're seeing here, I organize my socks and some underwear and stuff like that into little drawers and stuff, and it really makes the entire drawer more organized. Even if you don't want to go out and buy drawer organizers, just kind of make sections just with your clothes in your drawers. So as you can see here, I have three separate sections for my sweatpants, workout tops and shorts that I never really use <laughs> and more sweatpants. If you just like separate everything off it just makes it a lot easier to see everything and if you don't want to go out and buy anything you can also just take cardboard and cut it into strips and just divide them up if that makes it easier. I just kind of tend to fold my clothes all the same width so it makes it a lot easier to separate everything. Those are all the tips that I came up with for you guys. I hope that even a few of them maybe 
made it a little bit motivational or inspirational to just tackle that one spot in your room even and just clean it or just to clean your room in general. My parents have never really told me, Celeste, you have to clean your room. I guess it's just who I am. I know a lot of people aren't very keen. They have to have everything neat people. Like they just let their room get messy and it doesn't really get to them, but it gets to me. And that's completely fine. Everyone's different. I feel so much more stress-free whenever I come home after school to a nice clean room. It just makes me inspired to actually sit down, do my homework, and actually get the stuff I need to get done done. Whereas if my room is messy and there's something that's just bothering me that I have to clean, then I won't feel productive whatsoever and I won't want to do anything except sit in my bed and do nothing. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed these few tips and if they did help you out leave a like and a comment down below. Please leave some video suggestions down in the comments because I want to make videos that you guys want to see and thank you guys also for 5,000 subscribers like holy crap. <laughs> yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!